Hey Domain, welcome to my four bedroom, four bathroom, four outdoor space, two living space, three storey Bondo Beach House. Come on in. I don't know where we're going to start. It's so tranquil. This house is my home and I mean I've worked for years planning and building this home and I love it. This is my summer living room. It is a really lovely open plan space connected to the kitchen and the dining. I love that indoor outdoor connection and when the doors open up it's just this really great connection to all the palm trees in the sky outside. I deliberately wanted a very soft, monochromatic, minimalistic look for this house. So textures are really important. We've got the timber, we have stone. That's why we have these lovely woven textures and the rugs and the furniture. And you know, we have unexpected red in the furniture as well. So that's a nice pop of color that also ties in beautifully with the colors of the stone and the color of the stone in the kitchen. And this shelf here plays out beautifully throughout the furniture as well. This is my kitchen. This is where the love story with this marble started. And the island bench is a major feature. I love the design, the pinks and the beiges in here. I love it so much that I picked up this stone and applied it to the shelf over here underneath the TV, also to the fireplace and also into our ensuite. It's glorious. It's called Montreal Marble and I am besotted with it. Also, this color scheme, this sort of beige and soft pink color scheme plays out in the floors. So these are American hickory and that plus the stone plus the coastal oak cabin tree, I just think it's a match made in heaven. It's quite modern, you know, contemporary, but it still feels coastal to me. It's very important that it's a coastal house because we're right here in Bondi. The beach is only 400 meters away, but I wanted it to feel quite like a resort, quite luxe, but also calm and, you know, not too affected. With a neutral palette, I think it's really important to have elements of contrast. So we have those white cut through with the handles. We have the, the sort of VJ paneling and all the texture of the stone. We have this gorgeous pink metallic and these cut throughs of white with all the air conditioning vents. And I just think it's important to have little pops of contrast. We have designed this to, to be a cook's kitchen. It's deliberately designed this way without a butler's pantry because I wanted the biggest island bench we could. This cooktop is unreal, but the extraction is super cool. I didn't want overheads because I wanted this all just to be open and you know really make a feature out of the splashback. But to do that, you need extraction built into the cooktop. It's so strong, it works so well. Absolutely love it. And it's induction, very cool. the main bedroom suite. Uh, we have a really lovely, soft, serene, neutral palette in here from the texture on the wallpaper, the texture on our rugs, even the robes have a beautiful leather-like texture. And uh, I've chose the handles on the robes to match the handles on our bedside tables. Sometimes unexpected things start the journey of your uh, interior palette. Obviously the oak is important, but these tan leather handles informed the choice of leather handles in the robes and also this fabric on the front inspired this fabric wallpaper on the walls. And you can see that that leather-like look on the fronts looks even more leather when you have real tan leather handles. But it's obviously just a really nice, soft, gentle room. It has a really gorgeous outlook over the top of all the palm trees and the blue sky. On a quiet night, you can hear Bondi Beach, you can hear the waves crashing, and it's um, quite gorgeous. And it really is all about the details. I mean, all of the internal doors in the whole house have been updated with these gorgeous custom oak doors from Lachlan Furniture. I just love them. I think they're so beautiful. They really elevate the aesthetic appeal of the house and the luxury appeal of the house. And acoustically, they're great too, because I had them all sealed up. So it's a nice solid oak door, but they've got that lovely softness and the, the louver appeal. I just oh, love them so much. And this is the main bedroom ensuite. Yes, I'm standing in the shower, but it's made for two people. We have this gorgeous Velux skylight above us. 
It's solar panel uh, operated and it has a rain sensor, so you can leave it open, let all that steam and fresh air circulate through here. Uh, this is my tapware. This is one of the coolest things about having your own brand is when you get to see your own logo on products. And it's beautiful. So that's luster bronze by me and Mia. And the beige palette continues in here with all the tiles. And we've picked up the same stone that we've used in the kitchen in this niche and also in the bench top and the splashback. We have more lock on furniture with a vanity and these face level mirrors. And I just think it's like a perfect little jewelry box. I, I, I really love it. A little detail that you'd notice if it wasn't here are these magnificent doors. The fact that we have these massive big panels is one thing, but one of the greatest details is the ceiling here internally and the frame and the ceiling of the terrace are all on one level. And the same is true for the floor and the sill and the tile. It's such a seamless result. Silence. I love my staircases. This is kind of like folded paper, like origami. And then I think it's really important to soften these hard edges with curves. So the staircase curves around, but also a cool little trick is we've curved around the skylight here and that 90 millimeter radius is just good old boring cove cornice inverted. So that's set into the ceiling. It's a simple trick and it's a lovely way to get a soft, beautiful curve. So this is our winter lounge room. This is where we come and sit and enjoy watching the block on the telly. This is obviously the room that we're in in winter. So we have a fireplace, which is gorgeous. This is one of the rooms that have lots of walls. So we have big, beautiful artworks here from Martin Emder and Megan Weston. But it's just a really beautiful, comfortable room. Nothing better than a fireplace that you can switch on just like that. It's double-sided, it's massive. It's a great connection between this living space and our office just behind here. It's really wonderful in winter and it makes this room the perfect media viewing space. So I can sit down there with my family, watch the block on this lovely discreet TV. It's just a nice place to sort of put your feet up and lie back into this comfortable couch. And um, yeah, just sort of shut the world out. I also love the indoor outdoor connection in this space. So this is our backyard. It's turf because we have family and dogs. We have this gorgeous cantilevered barbecue here with UV Caesar stone porcelain. I love that. I love our little garden bed here. It's very lush and tranquil. And we have another entertaining space out here. That's one of four outdoor entertaining spaces in the house. Let me show you our second main bedroom. It's behind this wall, actually a hidden pivot door. Lovely integrated feature. Keeps this nice and private. So this is like a main bedroom suite, but it's downstairs. And this is a nod to the heritage of the house. It was originally a Californian bungalow. The ceiling is original horsehair. It has been kept in perfect condition. This is the original plaster walls and to work with that patina and that sort of um, handmade rough appeal that came with these old handmade houses, uh, I've lime washed this whole room myself. And it's just a really cute uh, nod, I think, to the heritage of the home, but it still feels like a really beautiful contemporary palette and it fits in with our lovely neutral scheme. Well, you've caught me enjoying my pool for the first time ever. This is, this is the most relaxed I've been in this house in the last couple of years. This space actually is reclaimed space. So it didn't have a purpose before. It was basically a, a meter of grass and then a terrace wall and then a meter of grass and a terrace wall. And we have put the plunge in, we've uh, built this area around it and it feels like a quiet little oasis. It's very tranquil. 
very luxe, and I can't wait to jump into that pool. Not today, when it's a little bit warmer. This home is a labor of love. It is something that has occupied a lot of my thoughts for a long, long time. We bought it in 2015, and it just feels like an oasis. It feels like an escape, somewhere that you're here, right in the middle of Bondi Beach, and it doesn't feel like it. It feels like you could be in Byron Bay or somewhere because you're surrounded by bamboo and palm trees. It's just, it's really, really beautiful. I thought about the best possible iteration of this house since I bought it. I used to sit in here just picturing walls coming down and you know the outdoor spaces being extended and staircases and all the different ways that I could let natural light into the space and it's exactly as I pictured it. It's worked out beautifully and I couldn't be more happy with the result.